Hello guys, this is Hamudi from Bilu Media. Welcome to my channel. I am happy to have you. Today I have the new Speedy B F405 version 4. Now this is an upgraded version over the version 3 and it has a lot a lot to offer. I really love this uh, stack. PDB lately are crushing it with uh, their products. I really love their products. They are really high quality and has a lot to offer. I have quite uh, some products from uh, them. I have the Master 5, the first one with the F7 uh, stack and the new PDB B35 drone with the Mini, the F405 Mini stack, which is an amazing stack and this is really really nice drone uh, review coming soon this week so stay tuned i love what speedyb are doing with their products and attention to details uh, lately and all of their products have amazing features one more thing that i love about speedyb is the instruction manuals and all of their products have instruction manuals with all the details that you need in order to build uh, either the product, the frame, or to see all the details about the stack. And this is no excep exception. This stack has an instruction manual. It's not really instruction manual. I mean, all the details that you need and not need are there. For example, you see all the BSC on board, all the UART uh, ports and all the important uh, things and this is really really great and all the wiring that you need in order to wire your stack and I really appreciate this, uh, this touch from SpeedyB, so nice job SpeedyB. So let's open the box and see what's inside. It comes with the normal SpeedyB box for all of their stacks. Uh, it's a similar uh, box the, for the, all of their stacks. And here we have the instruction manual. You can download the instruction manual here. We have a barcode here and if you scan it, you will be directed into the SpeedyB webpage where you can download the app. I already downloaded the app and I will show you in a second. This is the new 55 amps ESC, which is really, really nice. We will talk about this in a moment. And here we have the flight controller, which is stacked with features and we will talk as well in a moment. Down we have the accessories. We don't have very much accessories, but we have all what we need. We have an EXT60 connection to, the, to your battery. Here we have an M3 hardware. We have here a 1000 microfarad 35 volts capacitor, which is really good. It's really good to have this big uh, capacitor in the box. And here we have the cables that you need in order to connect your electronics to your other devices this is this is the cable to connect the flight control and ESC together you have a shorter one and a longer one and here you have a cable to connect your um, VTX but if you have an O3 camera you should connect the cable that comes with the DJI it's plug and play because this one is I think for uh, the old DJI air unit and the Cadix, if I'm not mistaken. This is the ESC that comes in the stack. It's a 55 amps ESC and it has a peak of 70 amps for 10 seconds, which is really great. So you can use it with uh, a seven inch uh, drone without any problems. This ESC has some cool features. Uh, one of them here, you can see there is a cutout uh, for the camera. If you have a tight build and you need some space, you have some space here for the camera. And you have the same thing here on the flight controller. So if you align this and this, you see that you have a cutout here 
for you for your VTX but uh, normally you won't need uh, this in my opinion here you can see the numbers of the individual motors that you can connect to the ESC one two three four and we have the numbers on top as well on the heatsink and we have them as well on the bottom which is really nice because if you need to put it uh, in a strange positions you can see I mean upside down or something you can see the numbers as well in the other part another cool feature is that we have here holes for the capacitor which is really nice I really love uh, this thing when uh, the manufacturer do uh, holes for the capacitor because it's easier to install and uh, overall it's better and we have the grommets already installed in the stack here and as well in the flight controller which makes your life really easy here we have a heat sink which is really nice to help cool the unit and another thing that is nice that we have a TVS diode to protect from uh, spikes, voltage spikes, and it's located over here. We have it as well on the flight controller. I believe that it's this one here, which is really, really nice. Beside the capacitor, you have extra prote protection from the TVS uh, diode that uh, you can see here. This one is the connection between the ESC and the flight controller. And if this one is damaged, you have corresponding pads so you can solder your wires directly here and not rely on this connection. The flight controller has the same feature. As you can see here, you have the pads the exact uh, pads which is really nice this is the ESC and it's really powerful ESC and you can use it with uh, different flight controllers as well I mean uh, with the F7 for example if you need so so really nice here as you can see we have a connection to the ESC here and here the plug for the DJI and those are the only plugs that you can find on the flight controller you have a USB type C connection which is really nice I really hate the old uh, connection that other uh, flight controller has this flight controller has some improvements over the version 3 control F4 or 5 con uh, flight controller which is almost the same as this one but has some improvements which we'll uh, talk about a little bit later this flight controller as of uh, the majority of uh, flight controllers from SpeedyB I think most of them, uh, all of them has uh, this feature it has a Bluetooth connectivity so you can connect it to your uh, app and change the settings in the field and you don't have to bring a computer to connect uh, your flight controller which is really really nice here is the Bluetooth chip and here is the antenna of the Bluetooth I can show you on my F7 controller the wireless connectivity so you can see what I mean here I have the Master 5 with F7 flight controller let's plug a battery here is the app and as you can see it detected that we have a flight controller that is compatible with uh, this uh, app so let's click here and it's connected here you have all what you can see in beta flight almost all and if you touch here the expert mode you see a similar application as beta flight on your computer so if i tilt the drone you can see it's tilted in the app as well and you can change the different parameters here for the receiver for example or the fail safe almost everything uh, what you can do in the normal beta flight and one thing that is in, uh, really interesting that you can change the motor direction from this app as well which is really 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 nice here you have 
a battery level indication. Let me show you on this drone. Here I have a battery fully charged. And as you can see, all the lights here are on, which indicates that the battery is full. Here I have a battery that is uh, dead. And as you can see, only one LED is lit, which indicates that the battery is almost empty, which is really nice because if you don't have a voltmeter, uh, you can use the drone, the, the flight controller as a battery meter. Here you connect your ESC and you have the pads from M5 to M8 here and telemetry which you can connect another ESC so you can uh, support eight motors. So this uh, flight controller supports uh, eight motors. We have four groups here to connect LED strips if you want. And here you can connect your LEDs as well on the flight controller. Here you have these pads, five volts ground and LED. A problem that uh, the version three had is the compatibility with the SD card. So here you can put an SD card for black box uh, recording and some uh, cards were not supported in the version three. And this issue is solved over here with this flight controller so you can connect any almost any uh, sd card i think all of the sd cards you can connect them but uh, you have the exact versions on uh, their website here you can see the gyro it's an icm 42688p gyro and it has a dedicated uh, power which is nice one thing that is upgraded over the version 3 that is really nice you have two bsc units uh, on the version 3 you, you had the two bsc as well but here instead of two amps we have five volts three amps and a nine volt three amps as well which is really really great this one i think it's the five volts uh, one and this one in the back it's the nine volts three amps and it's uh, mainly for the dgi 3 unit as it requires more power than the old ones one nice thing that almost all of speedyb's flight controllers if not all of them has is the barometer here you can see it's located over here and the barometer helps you determine the height of your drone and it's really really useful if you fly in a zone where you are limited and you don't know exactly the height of your drones which is really nice in the instruction manual you can see all the pads listed exactly and in detail for your flight controller but i will go over them really quick to show you what we have here here you have the and the pads for the cam so 5 volts ground cam uh, cc r3 and t3 so this is the uart number three and here you can connect your receiver and it's the uart number two right here here you will connect your GPS so you have SDA SCL 4.5 volts ground and UART number six and really nice thing about um, this pads for your GPS it has the 4.5 volts which you will connect to your GPS and when you connect your flight controller to your computer via USB the GPS will power on and this way you will not have to plug a battery into your drone and cause the O3 unit to overheat because it will overheat. Uh, so basically this step uh, helps you when you configure your drone, when you configure your GPS and you need more time to, to, to do this, which is really nice. Here you can hook an LED. Here you have the group of pads for your analog VTX and the DJI. So you will have nine volts ground VTX and UART number one and the S bus. Here you can hook 
a buzzer so you have buzzer minus buzzer plus and the 5 volt so this is the f405 version 4 stack from speedyb it's really good stack and very powerful since it has a 55 amps um, esc which is plenty enough for most of your use and you can use it easily with the 7 inch uh, drone as well which is really great and the stack has a lot of features and a lot of few arts for you to use so you can hook a gps or other external uh, devices if you need so and it really packs a lot of features such as the bluetooth connectivity which is really nice and the upgraded bac for your o3 unit so you will not have any problem with uh, your power to the o3 air unit and it's really really nice so i really love this tag guys and it comes for around 69.99 dollars which is really competitive price for what you get here so i really advise you to buy this one if you need so i will drop a link with this um, stack in the comments below thank you very much uh, guys for watching see you in the next one thank you bye